I was driving through L.A. with Bob Flores from the band Thelonious Monster. You've seen him as the counselor on Celebrity Rehab. Well, he grew up as best friends with Anthony Kiedis and Flea of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He even gave them their guitarist, John Frusciante. Well, we're driving down the street, and he sees a house. He goes, you know, me and Anthony and Flea used to live in that house. I'm like, oh, really? Tell me about that. He goes, yeah, it was before. And he just had a record deal. We were DJing, hanging out in clubs, trying to play, trying to get discovered. We were taking care of everything except for our rent. So they weren't paying their rent. No one could remember who was supposed to pay the rent. And most of the money was going to partying. So eventually, their non-confrontational landlord, this woman, was trying to get them to pay the rent. They never really responded. So she responded by having the doors removed from the house. So imagine coming home and you no longer have doors on the front and back of your house. Well, you would expect the band to move out right away. But the guys told me, yes, they continued to live there for a month. I guess if you're the kind of band who's going to walk around on stage with only socks on your penises, you're not going to care about walking around in your underwear with the wind blowing through your house at night. You like that?